and I never thought I'd really get back um, mm. because my injury was so was so serious. I had I had after my second up, I was just thinking like, am I actually gonna get through this? Am I gonna be able to play again? But I think the men- mentality of just having that real like love like love of football inside inside me really helped um, get me back on the pitch. Um, so I was, I was out for around 17 months um, and I think I just needed to get, to get back playing. So you moved to Chelsea, um, you know, another big team. And I think this is the time where Chelsea, they're kind of building their team and um, getting a lot of players in that, you know, you may know and you may recognise. Um, how was that to play with? Uh, a lot of good players again and um, be in a new environment being at Arsenal you were there for you know your whole teenage childhood and then now you're in a whole different environment Um, the back of actually me being at Arsenal um, the last season I was there I didn't actually play I was in and out of the team so I've gone from starting every game to being in and out of the team and when I first got my first um, professional contract at, um, at Arsenal, Chelsea actually wanted to sign me. Okay. But I stayed at Arsenal. It's a team what I, I support. I, do you know what I mean? So I wanted to stay mm. there. But when I, when I did get the move to Chelsea, it was like they had just, it was from the season, they just won the double. So they won the um, FA Cup and the league. So I think going there, I knew like Chelsea were kind of taken over from Arsenal now. So I was going to another top team, um, di- di- different environment where um, the manager, she was really building a culture to do with. The whole culture at Chelsea was just completely different. Um, mm-hmm. He wanted to kind of come away from like, it being it was going into like a professional professional environment. So when I signed yeah. with Chelsea, it was full time. Um, she wanted us to have all the same sort of facilities, building towards as the men. So it wasn't um, Chelsea ladies. It was more of a Chelsea, Chelsea football women. club. Yeah, Chelsea football club. So whatever mm. the men got, she wanted. She was kind of creating that and building towards that. Yeah. Um, so I knew I was going to a, another top team. And I think that first year when I was at Chelsea, um, I think I made around 18 appearances. So I did. I wasn't a definite starter, but I definitely came Played on. Played your role. Yeah, and I definitely um, got to learn from some, some of the be- was learning still from some of the best players. And I was still young. I was only just turned 19, I think. So... Mm-hmm. Um, Obviously, being at a different team, you're trying to learn their sort of style of play again, similar to Arsenal, but um, they had like some real winners in their team as well, um, some top players. So I, I wouldn't say it was. I would say it was. It, it was. I was changing, becoming a professional, a real professional training training day um, day in out. So yeah, yeah. So. I think that was that was different. It was obviously my body to adapt into the change of only pl- training twice a week. Um, so that would that's what I def- that was the real difference. That I was I was a professional <clears throat> footballer. Yeah, yeah. I, I went through similar, um, like probably twice in my kind of youth, um, moving from Arsenal to moving to West Ham. Um, for me, that was very different because Arsenal was all what I knew. And then I'm training, like you said, three times a week, four times a week max to training every single day. And like the intensity is a bit different and the style of play is a bit different. So I can totally relate to, to what you went through. And, um, you know, just what, what, what was different? What was the differences going from Arsenal to Chelsea in terms of the way they play, Training facilities, um, structure, um, you know, money, things like that. What was what was the big differences? I think they were investing a lot in the women's team, um, and I think yeah, that did come from the, the success of the last two um, the last season. 
but she was slowly getting slowly building a team and it wasn't just that it wasn't just the players it was actually the staff around around her that their like min- mentality and um it was like a it's hard to explain but the team what she had around her really contributed to her as a manager as well and I think it's all it's it's all well and good like you having the players they want to win but I think it's really important that the staff have the same um drive as well because Mm -hmm. it could be the physios it could be the coaching staff they've got to be wanting to work as hard as the players yeah um, of course of course to stay extra to do you know what I mean to to help it could be yeah the the welfare officer that to build that that culture and that that team um I think yeah, the, the investment, her as a manager really, really helped. Um, yeah, the, I think what, what the team from from three, three years ago when I was there, three, four years ago to now, is one of the best women's teams to be at. It's, yes. Yeah, it's, it's one of the top, top teams. And I think that's just the whole environment itself um, and what they built there is really good. Yeah, I remember um, I was in Germany at the time. I went to watch you um, play in a Champions League game. Uh, I don't think you came on that game, but, you know, just being involved in tournaments like that or competitions like that and, you know, the level you're, you're involved in now, like, like, how was that, you know? And also, you guys made it to um, FA Cup final as well. Um, I think, obviously, you just came up short, but um, how was that being playing Champions League you know, being involved at Wembley and that's like my dream, you know? Yeah, I think um, having, being involved in the Champions League is, it's, it's amazing because you get to travel and being in one of the top competitions where everyone wants to win, you're being, you're amongst the best, best players, best teams. So, um, yeah, I, I remember, I think we was playing Wolfsburg, like, that game mm. um really tough t- tough team Wolfsburg German team yeah. and um, I think yeah just I think you're just you know that you're at that level now that you're playing top players top, around the top top players and top teams um so that's always good um and yeah that I think the first that I think that was the second year when we played at Wembley so yeah. the women the women's FA Cup never used to be held at Wembley. Not until that season, what Chelsea won. So then the year after, when we came against Arsenal, I came, I came up short. I wasn't in the squad. Um, and I think that actually, that hurt actually, because I was getting mm-hmm. everyone to come down and support me, but I wasn't in it. And I thought, do you know what? Next year, that's, I don't want that same feeling again. Like, I, I want to make, I want to make that team and, I want to start at Wembley, do you know? Do you know? But yeah. I think actually now that the women's the women's um, uh, final should always be played there. So you're at Chelsea, um, and when? How many uh, WSLs did you win when you were there? Um, we won one WSL. So we won the double the the second year I, I was there. Um, we won the double won the league and the FA Cup, but the league I actually got there was when I actually signed um yeah we didn't win anything that year so we've gone from a real big high to a uh, to a low yeah so that 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 season when we took the low we knew that next year like had to be we had to and I think sometimes it's quite hard once you win everything I think it's it's really hard sometimes to keep that that level because the year after, everyone wants to beat you. Mm. Everyone want, want, wants that success. So I think from having that dip, we, as a team, we knew that we, all, we, we can't have that dip again. We want, we want to go again and win everything, um, which was the mentality of the team. It just, showed, it just showed the mentality of our team. Yeah, so um, coming to the end of your time there, uh, what was your decision it, it, really and truly, you know, you're making the best decision for yourself. 
and um, you know what you think is the best for your career. But at the time, do you feel like you know maybe I could have stayed, or do you feel like it was the right thing to do moving away and going to play for Liverpool? Also, the first time you would be living away from from like London. far away from your yeah far away from your family. So how was that whole decision making and experience? Uh, well, the second year when I was at Chelsea, I, that's when I got injured and I done my ACL. So I was out for around 17 months in total. I had three ops. I thought like it was such a, such a hard time because I was come. I was always on a high. I never really been injured. Um, w- winning, um, playing week in week out, always healthy. So I think. From that that year, it was a real down point because you're injured, you're out, you're seeing seeing everyone around you train, um, playing. It was so it was really really difficult to experience such a a big injury, um, and my my first first big injury. So that was such a difficult time for me, really, um, and I never thought I'd really get back. Um, mm-hmm because my injury was so, was so serious. I had, I had, after my second up, I was just thinking like, am I actually going to get through this? Am I going to be able to play again? But I think the men- mentality of just having that real like, lo- like love of football inside, inside me really helped um, get me back on the pitch. Um, so I was, I was out for around 17 months. Um, and I think I just needed to get, to get back playing, I think uh, towards the end, I went on loan for um, four to five months at Reading. Yeah. Um, yeah, I went on loan four to five months, trying to get my fitness back, played a few games. Um, and I kind of knew, knew that I need, needed a lot of games under my belt. So I think t- t- having that, getting the move from Liverpool, it's like I kind of needed to get away, away from home um, and just enjoy playing football again, play as many games as I can, build my fitness and from this season kind of build something that I'm back playing, be recognised again. I think staying at, staying at Chelsea was, would have never been good for me because being out for that so long, you just need to play games really. For more content like this, like, share and subscribe.